And today, a Texas meat market owner is still picking up the pieces left behind from a fire that caught on Tuesday. And she tells me they've came, she's came up with a new plan thanks to the community support that's fueled them. Burnt walls, food items tarnished, smoke debris still too much to bear. A loss that's still shocking. And I started seeing black smoke and I was like, no, like, no, like, no, there's no way. Two minutes is all it took for owner Laura Mendez's Texas meat market to catch flames on Tuesday. It was two minutes. I told like I was two minutes. I was here and I told the guys, hey, um, I'll be back. I'm going to the bank. The bank is my prosperity bank is right here. So I was not even two minutes away when somebody called and it's like fire, fire. Smoke coming out of place she called home for the Brazos Valley. It's devastating. Like I said, it's, it's, you see all your hard work. You see, you know, years of, uh, of what you built. You know, it's not just overnight. It's something that you take years to, to build this. Fire investigators have not determined how the fire started. It came from this side of the building. Mendez now smiling after seeing all was not lost. Tons of concern from the Brazos community. Just people coming in and showing that support, hey, are you okay? Um, that, that means a lot. That means a lot to me and my family. A delay now turned into a silver lining for Mendez. Because we, we can't operate from theirs no longer. It's going to take months to, to get it reopened. Being so, we said, you know what? We have a food truck. Selling tacos and catering until the market is fully recovered. And, and I loved it because everybody has reached out. You know, they're already planning orders. They're like, hey, I want 80 tacos. I want a catering this day. Her tears turned into triumph. This is not something that will stop us. No way. Uh, uh, we, we're fighters. And Mendez says she's turning this tragedy into a victory. And thanks to her family and community, it's been possible. To see updates on the market, visit the website on your screen. Their GoFundMe to help employees impacted by the fire will also be on KXTV.com later tonight.